From the land of dying 9 volt batteries, welcome to Smoky Goodness 2.0. Today featuring uh, a totally gifted uh, video. We're gonna be cooking some baby back ribs that were gifted to us just a couple of days ago. I had them in the fridge kind of de-chilling. Uh, the box said do not thaw at room temperature and I heed the warning on the box. These are farmland baby back ribs. I haven't counted the ribs that are individually sliced. I'm guessing there's probably the equivalent of two, perhaps three racks of baby back ribs. Like I said, they're individually sliced and we're gonna cook them individually. Ah, with a twist. Speaking of people gifting us stuff, all the rub that I have that has been given to us over the last year or so is waiting for this recipe. Each individual rub, or each individual rib will get an individual rub. And I'm not gonna keep track of which rib gets which rub. It's gonna be kind of Russian roulette, or rib roulette, rib rub roulette. It'd be a great name for this video, wouldn't it? Everything begins with two single flames. All right. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Out of jealous devil. And by way of comparison, the last of my jealous devil. Jealous devil lump charcoal. For here, Royal Oak. Not my favorite brand. Start with a bowl. Booyah! Some prepared yellow mustard, just as a binder. All right, we bring our ribs back, and we'll just start adding them into the bowl. Probably gonna have to do this just a little bit at a time. Kind of feels like a industrial restaurant kitchen going on here. I'm gonna go and get another bowl. I'll be right back. And we return with a bigger bowl. And more mustard. And a bit more mustard. So, there we go. I'm gonna set these two bowls right off camera. They might be on camera. And individually, each one of these little riblets are getting their own rub. I've got a lot more inside, but I don't think I've got <laughs> enough to cover each individual rib with an individual rub. I think we're gonna to have to double up on a couple of them, maybe even triple up. But the magic of this is, I'm not gonna keep any track of which ones are getting which rub. It's uh, it's roulette, so let's get going. First rib, going to be, ah, look at that. I'm just grabbing these at random. Midnight Espresso, one of my favorites, one of my all-time favorites, you knew that. We use it all the time. Not gonna put a lot of rub on this, or any of them really. Just enough to let you know they're there. All 
All right, let's get this first batch on. And you know the deal, we are running a temperature of about 250 at the moment. I kind of want that down a little bit, so I will be uh, adjusting the vents as soon as I get this first batch on, just like that. And I've been soaking some fruit wood chips over here for a little while. They're not gonna catch for a while. It's all this freaking royal oak that hasn't even caught yet. It's been probably 90 minutes since I lit this stuff. I don't mind telling you, I am not a fan of royal oak charcoal. I have had nothing but bad luck with it all these years. Thought I'd try it again. Sorry I bought it. All right, I'll keep working on everything. We'll be back. Looks like our other grill is up to temperature, sort of. These are just riblets, doesn't matter. Okay, and we'll get uh, the rest of these on. Not knowing exactly what rub is on which rib, I threw these back on the cutting board in random order. So I don't even know what's on these. Some of these, you can tell by the color, shut up phone. Others, it's just a guessing game. And just like last time, some fruit wood chips. Been soaking for a couple of hours at least. Good enough, not a whole lot. Don't really want to mask the flavor of all that rub. But you know, a little smoke never hurt anyone, right? All right, we're cooking and we're smoking. And I have each one of these uh, Weber's dialed in at right about 250 degrees, just where I want it. Um, since these are just riblets, I'm, I'm sure they're not going to take that long to cook. Maybe two, two and a half hours. The sun's going down. It's a Monday night. So uh, Weber's, do your thing. We're going to be eating like kings tonight. So let's see how we did. This tastes like it's got Tango Verde on it. And tango Spice, yep, that's what it is. Whoa, that's got a kick to it. Wow, haha, <laughs> this is uh... I think this is, hmm. Yeah, yeah, I think it is. Good guess. Matter of fact, it is. It's Slappy Mama. Huh. This one is, this is a, Ah, uh, what I, I can't remember the name of it right off the I just had it. It's one of the Kansas City rubs, it's the really sweet one. Alright, see you next time. Next time we might still be sitting here eating these, you never know. <laughs>